That's the power of the cameras of live people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon the women's football will catch up to the men's in the distant future? I hope so. I think if the quality gets to the men's, there's no reason why they shouldn't have the same coverage and therefore bring in similar amounts and therefore get paid similar amounts or similar salaries. What do you think? I hope so. It will be nice to have two World Cups to look forward to in successive years. So yeah, that will be nice. So yeah, I, 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 I'm cheerleading them on. I hope they do. And and if anything, like I mentioned before, the progress from the World Cup now five years ago and the progress up until the last World Cup is anything to go by, then sure, they're, they're, they'll get to a certain point where it's marketable and where I reckon... Everyone can get involved in like they do with the men's. It will. It should definitely get to that point soon. Yeah, and it, hopefully it'll get to a point where we'll be looking forward to the women's World Cup every four years, and it'll be on our calendar as well. Like the best, I, I think the it needs we... stars. It just needs stars to really make it marketable. Again, at the end of the day, it's, it's all about money and audience and whatnot. So. Yeah, they just need stars. And to be fair, like okay, Megan Rapinoe, whether she brings in good or bad publicity, people have it's their still bringing in publicity. Yeah. So yeah, they just need more of that. Like again, like me and you, how many how many stars can we uh, of the women's game can we name? Alex Morgan, Megan Rapinoe. I can name Joe. a couple of uh, the England like legends, like uh, Rachel Yankee, uh, Beth, Me Beth, Beth Mead, something Aluka, Steph Tweddle. No, no. Oh yeah, Anika. I was gonna say Anika Nero. No, she's a um, She's a funger me around now. There's the lawyer. Something I think it's the one, the lawyer. She... Anika. Uh, yeah, the lawyer. The lawyer? She's a lawyer as well, I think. Yeah, really? there's one of them who's a lawyer. Yeah. There's this, no, I'm talking about the, the woman who played for Juventus just recently. Yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking about. I don't mean, she might not be the lawyer though. I, I might be confused with someone else. I don't think she's a lawyer. But there's also, so the, the woman's team, there's also the one who plays for, is she the right back? Oh, what's her face? What's her name? I forgot. I forgot. I literally, I literally, I thought I had it. It's just gone blank. But and she's there was really, a woman really in good. England's team called Bronze something. Yeah, like Lucy Bronze. That's what I'm about. Okay, there yeah. you go. Yeah, Lucy yeah, Bronze. Lucy Bronze. Yeah, yeah. yeah there yeah. you go. And then I know the uh, former who Steph, Steph Hewton, the, the centre back who plays for Barcelona. Okay, okay. Did not know that. Yeah, she's 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 good. There's Hope Solo, American goalkeeping legend. Oh yeah, she's um yeah good goalkeeper. She's what. <laughs> He's a very good goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thirsty, man. Drink water, bro. <laughs> uh, that's all I can think of. There's, uh, I. The thing is, I recognize. I kind of could. I can say, for example, there's. I know there's a striker who plays for Arsenal and also plays for Holland, but I can't remember her name. She's supposed to be quite good. And there's a. Oh, the, what's her face? The, the Swedish one, the one who's like the best, one of the best players in the world, and she won the women's Ballon d'Or like last year or the year before. I, I forgot her name. I'm sure we'll know in a few years, if not yeah. a year. But I think, like, like we said, like we're struggling to even name the stars because there's not enough coverage. We don't watch enough men, women's football. I don't see enough women's football on TV. Whereas if you asked me to name stars of football, we could be sat here oh, all day. Because I, I could name you, I could name you play. This would be the I longest episode ever if that was the case. Every like the starting lineup of every team in the Premier League. If I'm not going to do an episode because it's, it's, it will take us a long time, and I'm sure people don't want to listen to that. But do you know what I mean? That's how much I know men's football. But I couldn't. I couldn't even name you the the England starting lineup. At the same time, that that's probably because we're guys. Like, I mean, tell a girl who watched football, and she would probably be able to. Not probably, but she might be able to do that. But I think another cool thing Wait, is though, that they are. Hold on. Like, I I think the cool thing is like the Premier League teams are starting to build their own women's team as well. So, for example, Man United recently re-established their own women's team. I know Southampton are doing it. All these other so before I remember like what five years ago it was just Chelsea Arsenal and all these other teams but now other Premier League teams and whatnot are starting to reinvest and yeah. put some attention into a women's team even abroad like you said the Barcelona uh, women's football team Atletico Madrid had one of the highest attendance for their football games Lyon are great Marseille are great and whatnot so they're building they're, it's, at the end of the day right yeah. the women's football footballing world is, is, is still young in the game and so yeah, it just it's all about progress. But they are doing the right thing in terms of campaigning to get equal rights because of bringing attention. And as we saw with the last World Cup, the marketing for that was really good. I was I thought it was pretty sweet. No, I, yeah, it was good. I really enjoyed watching it. Hopefully, it keeps incre um, increasing and it keeps getting better. And hopefully, in a future podcast episode, we'll be able to name many more stars. 